best out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Before we do, let's see him in action. Here he is in his fantastic new fill-up, the International. Welcome the fabulous Clive Owen! Two great-looking men out on the couch on a Friday night, and what more do the women of this country want? Let's let them just soak it up for a minute, shall we? <laughs> well, work it, Clive, work it. <laughs> Don't leave it all to me. <laughs> uh, great to see you again. Is it nice to be home? Because you've been pretty busy. You've been filming, I guess, pretty solidly. I mean, you've got yeah. one movie out this Friday, one movie out in a few weeks' exactly, time. Exactly, yeah. No, we're doing this sort of press tour, so I've been out sort of... Um, um, promoting the international, and then literally, I'm home for a week, and then next week I go off starting the promotion for Duplicity. Duplicity of Love the Film, which is in with Julia Roberts, which I've seen as well, which uh, I'd like to talk about later because I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, so, when you're away, how long have you been away from home? How much time uh, do you have to spend away filming? And, and that must be difficult to balance with the family. Yes, I, guess. I think what I tend to do is I'll do a movie that takes me away from home for three or four months, and then I'll make sure that I take considerable downtime and stay at home and hang with the kids. Um, and what are the kids making you being in movies? Do they, because you never really made any family films as such. No, you? they're not very happy about that at the moment. They're, so they can't uh, get to see not, you? They come, they visit the set, they meet everybody involved with the film, and then the film comes out and they're not allowed to see it. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, that's almost like, you know, just cruelty there. Making the um, would you ever do a, a kids movie? They're putting me under serious pressure at the moment, so, yeah. Uh, if, if, if the right one comes along, I would definitely do it. Have you been offered any? Yes. Okay, you're probably not going to want to say I made before. the fatal mistake of telling them once about a film that came out. It was quite a big children's film that I was offered that I passed on, and they're, they're, sti they're still giving me grief about what it. What was yeah. the film? I'm not telling them. <laughs> You'll tell your kids and you won't tell me. <laughs> what about your priorities? Um, okay, um, you must miss your family terribly when you're away. Uh, so David mentioned that he sometimes Skypes his family. Do you do that? Do you... I tried that for a little while, yeah. It, didn't, it wasn't very successful because the younger one, Eve, um, I think she just found it very difficult. I loved it. I adored seeing them and, and, and connecting with them like that. But she she got a bit freaked out. I think. I think the fact that I was there but not really there is a bit weird. For so her. it actually made it harder. Yeah, in some ways. Yeah. Um, let me ask you about uh, working with some of the people you work with recently, because um, in the international, we know me. What's a terrific actor? Uh, in duplicity, you're with Julia Roberts, of course, who you've worked with before. Uh, you seem to get your pick of the crop of, of the young leading ladies these days. I've been very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, Julia Roberts, you worked with twice. Jennifer Fancy, you worked with once. Angelina Jolie, who he's also been in the movie with, uh, who has those remarkable lips, <laughs> has described you as being one of the best kissers ever. <laughs> Don't get jealous. <laughs> well, I am jealous. <laughs> I think we're all jealous. Uh, but are you a good kisser as well? No, not particularly. Yeah, see, I don't think I'm a good kisser. I think my wife's a good kisser, and I know your wife's a good kisser, but I was wondering... <laughs> <laughs> He's away a lot. <laughs> but it must be, you know, oh, here we go, we've got to do this, and presumably you have to make sure you don't eat anything too spicy all morning. Yep, and yep. Just little courtesies like that. I yes. Guess. OK. Um, your kids, will you sit down and explain to them what you're doing on the screen when they do get old enough to watch these movies, or...? Will that be a self explanatory um, thing? No, I mean, literally, it's been very weird because the films that I've chosen to do, I don't think they've literally hardly ever seen a film. Even I've clips, I guess, they probably wouldn't and, see. And, you know, they're, they're too young. I mean, they're not going to sit down and watch Sin City or Closer for quite a few years to come. <laughs> you would yet. hope not. Yeah. No. Okay, um, are they going to follow in your footsteps at all, do you think? Do you think they would like to act? Would they like to be I, don't, I think it's a bit too early. They've started doing the school plays. How old are your um, kids? One is... 12 and 9. Yeah, because um, we should, I should just say this, Clive has his children at the same school that I have my children at. That's right. Which is lovely for him because he sees me on a regular basis. 
outside the gates. <laughs> uh, and I've got to say one thing, which is, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but because when, when you're not filming, you are, you're pretty present at the school. I am. I see you collecting the kids, you're like dropping them off. I've noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, that the mums in the playground tend to get a little bit more, I don't know, their hair seems more straightened. There's a little <laughs> bit more. Yeah, the couple of weeks you're there, I notice a, dis a distinct improvement in the quality of the mum. Are you sure it's not you? Are you sure it's not you? No, it's definitely not me, because I'm there all the bloody time, and me and the other dads all sucking our stomach in when you come in. It's like... <laughs> Uh, now, let's talk about the international, because here, in many ways, it's a very timely story. Uh, it opens uh, today all over the UK. Um, without giving too much away, how would you describe the story? Um, I play a guy from Interpol that is totally obsessed with trying to bring down a huge bank who he believes to be totally corrupt, and literally travel all over the world in pursuit of trying to bring them down. It's corruption in a different way to the way perhaps that we've seen banks let people down at the moment, and this is a kind of deliberate... Um, misuse of funds in yeah. a way that no one could possibly, uh, I would have thought, justify. What parts of the world did you travel to for this movie? Um, we, went to, we went to Italy, we spent two weeks in Milan, we shot in New York for a while, we were in Berlin, we went to France, we shot a lot of places. So hold on, so early on you're saying how much you miss being away from your family, now you're saying you've basically had 12 weeks in some of the nicest parts <laughs> of the world where you don't even have to bloody Skype your kids because you've given us this excuse that it upsets them. <laughs> Meanwhile, your wife's coming to me for affection. <laughs> 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 don't worry, it's a joke. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't think I was breaking to him very publicly. <laughs> um, 